Hi everyone, welcome back to Workado in a minute. My name is Rishi, and in this video, we'll talk about how to troubleshoot your errors using network tracing. Troubleshooting is one of the hardest and most drawn out parts of building and testing any project. When running and testing recipes, the job report gives you full visibility into how your data is handled at every step, making it easier to identify the root cause of any errors. Let's take a look at this example recipe. It looks out for any new or updated closed one Salesforce opportunities, and then it creates or updates a record in Airtable where we track our deals. When I run this test job, it lets me know that the recipe fails at step four, and then I'm getting this 422 error message. Unlike other job reports, where I can see the input and output data, I don't have much information to go off of. So how do I get more information to find out what went wrong? What I can do now is click debug for this step, and I can take a look at the network request and view the HTTP codes, headers, and payloads to get more information on what caused the job to fail. If I navigate to the response tab, I can see that the probability field can't accept the provided value, which led this job to fail. Now that I know where in this step the error came up, I can go back to the recipe editor and try to make the relevant fix. So if I go back to the recipe, and if I take a look at step four, I can see that I have a date time data pill in the probability input field. I can swap out the pill for the one I want and save the recipe. Since the recipe caches each business trigger event, I can test my fix directly from the job report without having to manually reproduce the trigger. I can rerun the job and watch as it runs successfully. And there you have it, debug your recipes and take troubleshooting under your control using the job reports and network tracing. If you have any topics that you'd like us to discuss in future Workado in a Minute videos, please drop us a comment below. And if this video is helpful to you, drop a like. And as always, thank you for joining.